15 spoken English phrases with in and on from EspressoEnglish.net. Here's a fun way to study prepositions. Let's learn some casual conversational expressions using in and on. We'll start with phrases with the word in. I've been looking for a job for months, but I haven't found anything. I'm in the same boat, so I know how you feel. In the same boat means in the same situation. Are you in the market for a new phone? There's a great sale this week at Best Buy. Really? I'll have to check it out. I've been thinking of getting a phone for my daughter. If you are in the market for something, it means you're interested in buying it. Boy, am I in a tight spot. My sister's wedding is on the same weekend as a major business conference that I've already bought tickets to. In a tight spot means in a difficult situation. How was your trip to Colorado? It was nice. The ski season's in full swing, so it was hard to find a hotel, and we ended up staying with friends. In full swing means at the highest level of activity. I heard you started your own business. How's that going? Oh, it's all right. A lot of days I feel like I'm in over my head, but I'm lucky to have some good advisors. If you are in over your head, it means you are too deeply involved in something to manage it. There are more tasks or more responsibilities than you can handle. Why did you join the military? Well, my life was sort of in a rut. Nothing but going to work, coming home, eating and sleeping, so I really wanted some adventure. If you are in a rut, it means you have a boring routine that doesn't change and there's nothing fresh or new in your routine. Oh, so you grew up in Middletown. Do you still live there? No, the city's in dire straits. There's been a huge increase in crime and unemployment over the past few years. In dire straits means in a desperate, extremely bad situation. Here's a washing machine for sale. The ad says it's only a year old and is in mint condition. Really? Let me see the pictures. If an item is in mint condition, that means it's in perfect condition, almost as if it were new. Now let's learn some casual phrases with on. Whoa, it's really hot in here. Yeah, I know. My air conditioner's on the fritz. Sorry. If a piece of machinery or equipment is on the fritz, it means it's not working. What was it like performing in front of 500 people? I was definitely a little on edge before getting on stage, but once the music started, I calmed down. If you're on edge, it means you're nervous, tense, and worried. My baseball team has won our last five games. Awesome! You're on a roll. On a roll means having a period of many successes in a row. How is your mom doing? She had knee surgery last week. She was in a lot of pain the first few days, but now she's on the mend. If someone is on the mend, it means that person is getting better after surgery or sickness. I've had to get my car repaired three times in the past month. Sounds like it's on its last legs. You should probably start looking for a new one. If a machine or an object is on its last legs, it means it's old and will probably stop working soon. My boyfriend is hell-bent on quitting his job and pursuing a career in music. Hmm, I don't suppose you could talk him into at least getting a part-time job? If someone is hell-bent on doing something, it means they are extremely determined to do it. 
often despite other people trying to convince them that it's a bad idea. I'm starting a new job next week. Got any tips for me? Definitely try to get on your manager's good side. It'll pay off in the future. If you get on someone's good side or get on someone's bad side, it means to do things to give that person a good opinion or a bad opinion of you. It's a terrible feeling when you're in a conversation with a native English speaker, but you get lost at some point and you can't follow the dialogue. If you've gotten lost in the conversation, it's even harder to answer a question or add a comment. But you can practice your understanding and learn common phrases in my course, Everyday English Speaking. It will help you speak English more confidently in daily life.